So back to the easel again. This morning. Might get this finished today. Probably won't. But we're going to have a damn good try. Okay, so starting again from where we left off yesterday. I'm going to get the rest of these trunks put in here. Um, and then we're going to get going on some of the foliage. At the moment, the trunks, I know I'm going lighter and lighter and they are starting to stand out a lot more. But once we get those leaves, the lighter leaves over the top, they won't look quite so contrasty. And it should look a bit more natural because at the moment, they're a little bit too, you know, too bright. But I'm just very aware that once those leaves are over the top it'll tone that down a bit. Another thing we can do with these is can easily tone them down by putting a darker glaze over areas of them perhaps where the, you've got those canopies over the top and they're casting shadows on the trunks. That's super easy. It's easy going darker but if you go too dark it's sometimes difficult to pull it back out again. Before I start working on any more of these branches and some of the lighter twigs, I'm just going to put in some of the details sort of that are sort of, you know, not, not in the foreground, not those really bright leaves over the top, but the ones that are just sort of within there a little bit because um, they're sitting behind some of these twigs and branches. So I'll do that now and you've got sort of quite an orangey, they're quite subtle the colours, um, but I'll put those in first, then we'll go over with more branches and then we'll put the lighter canopy on. So let's do that right now. Okay. So let's start mixing a bit of the orange. Between the branches there. Don't need to be too, you know, too precise with it because these just need to, you know, kind of suggest that there's detail in there. Notice right under here in the shade here, some of the leaves there are really quite red. So I'm just going to mix in a bit of that alizarin and crimson there. See if we can get that right. It might need a, a little bit of. No, that's not too bad. I was going to say a bit of um, uh, dioxine purple. It might need a bit actually. Yeah, let's go with a bit more of that.
So it really does help to alter the size of the, your brush stroke depending upon where the leaves are. So if they're in the middle ground, which these ones are here, sort of sitting sort of a bit further back, you know, a bit further down the path there, I'm using much smaller brush strokes, just sort of dabbing them with the point of the rigger onto the panel there. And it's just giving me the tiniest little, tiniest little leaf. But then as you can see here, when the ones that, the ones that are sort of closer, doing a, a, uh, a larger brush stroke just, you know, gives you that illusion of it being much closer. So it gives you that depth, which is kind of what you're after. order to get this paint to um, look more opaque and, and, and strong I'm using the, well, I'm slowly getting the paint is slowly getting thicker and thicker I think that's the best way to describe it so I'm using less and less medium or white spirit to thin it down so it's actually quite thick and and stodgy this paint here um, and it's standing slightly proud of the surface not a lot but slightly and that helps to give it that strength move over to this area here now and fill in this bit and then we're pretty much coming to a, a point with the trees where they're oh, almost finished.
Right, I've had enough of those trees now. They're okay. I'm quite pleased with them. Um, quite often, you'll finish a section of a picture and you think, oh, I'm not entirely happy with it, it just doesn't quite look right. And it won't do until you get the rest of it finished. And then quite often, okay, you might need to come back to it and just do a little bit on it, but more often than not, you'll find that by finishing the rest of it, it kind of completes everything. And you'll think that, you know, it's actually okay, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna leave this area. I'm now gonna get working on the foreground if I need to come back to the trees, then I'll do that afterwards. But I, I would imagine chances are that's done. So get on with the next. I'm gonna put that in a video now and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you can join me then. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. Um, and probably a bit early for this, but if you can think of a decent name for this, Put it in the comments below, because as you know, I'm terrible at naming pictures. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.